Hey, good afternoon, Centre for Effective Living Community. It's Valerie Ling here, clinical psychologist, director, founder of the Centre for Effective Living. Here I am again en route, so I do apologise. I'm back in the car, safely parked. You know, the social media gurus say that please stop doing your Facebook Live videos in your car. Well, when you're juggling quite a few different roles in your world, sometimes you have no choice but to be in the car. I actually did step outside to try to give you a bit of a view. However, the wind was not going to make the audio a very good one. So here I am instead. Hey, guess what? I've got something on tonight. I've got a high school reunion tonight. Yep. It's on. It's tonight. I haven't seen these people in, oh, 25 years. I haven't thought about it at all. I haven't thought about doing my hair. I haven't thought about what I'm going to wear. And I haven't thought any bit about the kind of image I'm going to portray tonight. No. As if. Right. Of course I have. I've been thinking about what I'm going to wear. I've already had my hair cut. Next I've got to go home and have some beauty sleep and then I've got to put my high school reunion face on and try to look close to the 18 year old that I was when they last saw me. Hey, that's just being human, isn't it? So the clinical conversation today is about social anxiety disorder. Imagine if what I was experiencing today for a high school reunion, which gives anybody a decent amount of angst, imagine if that happened to you at an everyday level for every social interaction that you had. Whether it was ordering some food, whether it was paying for the groceries, whether it was having someone watch you write, having someone watch you eat, whether it was having someone hear you speak, through to the things that might keep some of us up at night, having to make a public speech or performance. Imagine if that happened every day, and every day your stomach was in knots, you, were, uh, you had heart palpitations, you felt like you were going to throw up. Hello, Kathy. Let's play a game of knock, knock. Knock, knock. <laughs> so I'm talking about social anxiety. So imagine if that happened to you every single day for the most mundane um, social activity. That's probably what it is like to have social anxiety disorder. It's, uh, it's an anxiety disorder that is not uncommon and it does exist, exist in children all the way up to adults. For adults, it can really interfere with things like attending job interviews, um, entering social uh, activities, um, getting around with your everyday life if you have to interact with people. And for kids, imagine being terrified of school assemblies or being asked to put up your hand to have an answer or just the fear of walking into school and having all your eyes turned on to you. Well, social anxiety a disorder is about a profound fear that people are going to look at you and judge you and see right through you and see that you're some kind of phony or fake or that you're actually going to say the wrong thing, anything that you do or say. There's also a fear in social anxiety that they may be seen as being uh, boring, not worth talking to. So social anxiety disorder, if any of this has actually sound, if any of this sounds familiar to you, or if you know someone that might be struggling with this, the good news is help is readily available. It's a treatable anxiety disorder, and I'm going to post a link in my comments with some more information about it. In the meantime, I have to go and get my beauty sleep now to get ready for my high school reunion tonight and try to look 17 again. Wish me luck. Bye.